good morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you're creeping with. I do appreciate you guys tremendously for always being here. Today, we are on Division Street, right in front of this brand new bus stop here that TriMet, our local Max bus, and a couple other little forms of transportation around town are revealing their brand new bus line today. September 17th, the celebration will begin. And this is a FX bus that will replace the original number two line. And the FX is for the Frequent Express Service. And as you can see here, they put these new little reader boards too, which I guess over time will probably let us know when the buses come. But they've also done a great job of replacing the schedules and also giving us an update as to where the bus line will run. It starts here at the Gresham Central Transit where we're gonna head next because they are doing a little celebration of the opening. But I also wanted to kind of show you guys the new route that will take you actually over the Tillicum Bridge and into Portland. So running every 12 minutes or better, they're really up in their game. But I wanted to document the bus that's still running because as of this morning, at about in about two hours it will be no longer that's right they're completely discontinuing the old buses and are replacing them with brand new ones which hopefully we'll be able to check out as the grand opening little celebrations begin i guess there'll be some prizes um hopefully an old school trolley and just really them showing off the new bus the new bus is like a trifecta of buses so they'll be able to hold a lot more people as well and you'll be able to board it on all three lines now i'm not actually going to be getting on this bus that's coming but i do have plenty of videos that we've vlogged in the past where i've boarded the old buses here but i really just wanted to hang back and document the old bus here so that you guys can get a better look and feel as to what the new buses will be like like I said, the newer ones will be a lot bigger. Um, they've actually got like a accordion style swiveling mechanisms down the middle that will make it for the operators to hold a lot more people, be able to maneuver them better. And really I'm just here, I'm just here documenting it. So thank you. I was letting them know with my hand that I really didn't need the ride so he didn't have to waste his time pulling over and uh, he caught my hand. I was like, no, I'm good, just documenting it. So we'll see. We're gonna head down to the tran uh, transit center next. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be good, stay tuned. Yeah, these are the renewable diesel ones. But I believe, I could be wrong, but I'm guessing the FX ones are all electric. I could be wrong, but we'll see. We might be a little early, but this is a good sign. Got some stanchions and whatnot going up. Letting us know all who sponsored it and whatnot. But yeah, there's kind of a little sneak peek of it there on the sign. And we'll probably be able to see it in all of its glory here pretty soon. I think the actual celebration doesn't start until about 10 or 11. But it should be good. All right. While we're up this way too, well, let's go check out this bus over here. Like I said, these are not the FX bus. By the way, this is the Gresham Central Transit Center. Oh, it looks like they got... Okay, yeah, this just kind of just talks about it as well. The Division Transit Project will improve travel between downtown Portland, southeast and east Portland and Gresham with easier, faster, reliable bus service. And here's one of the other buses. This isn't the FX bus, but as you can see, a lot quieter right there, renewable energy. So these are very much quieter than even the ones from just a couple years before. All right, we are a little early, but that's okay because 
the Gresham Farmers Market is open. And I'm noticing here they are going to be running a shuttle to here. So that'll be cool. So you can actually ride, I believe, for free today after like a certain time too. And then they'll take you right down here. And you can check out all the different vendors and folks enjoying their time. And I think there's going to be a trolley as well. One of the older style. But there's a better sneak peek. You guys kind of got one back there already. I think this doesn't get rolling. Oh, they get open here early. Like, I think like 8.30 or so. You guys open early, don't you? Yeah, we usually open around 9, 8.30. Right on. Appreciate that. All right. So, we're going to walk through the park here. I could ride, but I'm just trying to be... Kind of more respectful, I guess, nonchalant. They probably wouldn't mind if I rode through, but I think being able to kind of just walk along might be easier for me to focus. So yeah, not only a ton of vendors down here, but I'm noticing this sign here, Mural of Possibilities. So we're gonna go over here and check this out. But I also wanted to talk to these guys real quick. They're setting up for the new bus line. This is super cool. Yeah, this is gonna be great because I commute a ton on the bus, so yeah. a lot of Portlanders are gonna like this. Same with the small business owners around here. Yeah. And the, the, the dedicated lanes for that FX bus are really gonna be a benefit to anybody driving along or riding along. Because, That's it's right. For us to be able to hold the light at certain areas and have our own dedicated lanes, it lets us complete that campus of about once every 12 minutes. That's awesome. I'm glad you said that because I was focused on the bus yeah. and even being a bicyclist, I always sell myself short, but the green on your shirt, that represents the green line, kind of like, uh, what is it, in Europe, yeah. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. and, and when you have, you have, you have bikes, you, your old buses, you have to put it on the front, right? There are racks that come down. The new buses, these new FX lines have uh, angled bike parking actually on the buses themselves. Take a ride. One That's one cool. Oh, for sure. We're going to be having them come here a little bit later in the day, but if you go right down to the Gresham Central Transit Center, they'll be pulling in there one about once every 12 minutes to take folks on rides around to different awesome. We get stamps and swag. That's so cool. Yeah, you guys got a nice little setup. Yeah, yeah. So this is a kind well, of a depiction. Yeah, you know, these are This is the posters. Tillicum Bridge, guys, that they just constructed not too long ago. It's kind of earthquake proof. And uh, the new bus line will take you through a lot, a lot quicker because it's for pedestrians and buses only. I guess, I, I think you guys have seen it on the channel before. We focused on a couple of the different bridges around town. But yeah, it'll shoot you right into downtown a lot quicker. Hey, thank you so much for your time. This is... And you guys are giving away some swag too here, like he said. Do you mind if I grab one of the buttons? Awesome. Thank you so much. It's funny because I've been doing a lot of different vlogs around town and the buttons are like a hot item. Yeah. So it's nice so I can remember like what's going on. So yeah. thanks again, you guys. This is cool. And of course, the Saturday market as well down here, the farmer's market. And I believe they're going to have some live music as well and some performers. So we're just going to kind of hang tight and check things out and then eventually get on the actual bus. If you can see behind me here, well, we saw it on the way in too, but if you missed it, we got the Merrill of Possibilities. And check it out, I scored a little a little pin. So we've been getting these all over town. It's kind of a hot item <laughs> of the new FX line. So yeah, I'm actually just gonna keep this in its little package too, kind of as a memento, a little collector's item. But I'm gonna go check out what this Merrill of Possibilities is about next. This part of the Division Street uh, new line. Right. A fast line with a long bus. You can see there. On right. The thing. So anyway, there's a, a mural that's going in on. Uh, I believe it's around 50 something in the division. Oh, okay, I cool. Tell you exactly. I'm I'm not up on that. But uh, and so it's a public participation mural. Nice. So there's three locations along the celebration. Uh, line. There's one at 82nd and PCC okay. uh, Division, and then there's one down at OMSI. Very cool. And there's one here. Oh, in here too, yep. So, so um, everybody, they sign up. Very cool. Here. And I take sign it, these are, these are pieces of it. 
These are pieces. Right on. Of, uh, one section of the mural. Oh, that is cool. And uh, people can come and they can paint. And they paint, they get a color and they paint within. It's just delineated. Ah, so I see. He's got it marked. So you don't go outside marked. of your yeah, you kind of range. Yeah, you And eventually, neat. Uh, by the end of the day, this should be painted in. That's so cool. So a lot of folks can join in. It's not just one artist, but a whole bunch. Hey, yeah. that's a great idea. Oh, and then you and then you combine them together at the end. I take it. Right. And, oh. And there's uh, and also that's with neat. panels at other locations. A little cat here too. So as long as you stay in your numbers, you're good. <laughs> that's so. And then he's got all his Here's workshop the here. We hand you paint. Very cool. In. We give you an apron. Nice. To protect your clothing if you so desire. Very cool. We uh, get you some paint. And then we take care of cleaning the brush. Oh, there you go. So you don't even have Boom. to clean up. Look at this. These guys are so nice. They even clean up it all for you. Well, uh, just save. <laughs> That's cool. Save oh, and he's even got a messy. mark, so you don't mess up. You only get to numbers that well, you choose. Well, yes, and we're trying to determine. That's There's cool. always glitches. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cool. I'm glad you. He circled around the block so I could get a better view of this. I'm glad you circled around. I was like, where'd he go? Oh. I wanted to see it. A lot of folks. Very cool. What year is it? 1945. 45. Wow. Now, was this part of like before the Rose City shuttles were before TriMet got the bid? This was actually a school bus. Oh, okay. So this was a school bus for good in Idaho. They actually were not building many vehicles in 1945. Okay. Uh, because of the war. Oh, wow. Um, but if it was for the government or for. Um, now I'm being intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> you got to know your stuff. No, yeah. I'm just teasing. Yeah, no, so <laughs> That's awesome. It was, uh, if it was for the government or a government agency like oh. a school, then what they did is they would manufacture. It's beautiful. So, but most everything else was for upper mm -hmm. tanks, airplanes. I was excited to see the new one, but this is like right up there with it. You know what I mean? How beautiful. It's got the cat eyes over the... Those are not original seats. Wow. Incredible. That is beautiful. I like the turn signals here too on the sides. Very pretty. Oh, the T-bar uh, T bar bumpers. That is impressive. Do you mind if I show the dash? Yeah, you can Cool. Go Just wanted to make sure. Look at this, it's so cool. Come on in, we are open, wow. Look at this, you guys. This is so cool. Wow. It's even got like a little, little bar thing in the back here. The speakers. Wow, I like this upholstery, it's beautiful in here. Um, Incredible, man. This is beautiful. Oh, thank you. I love this pull handle on the door, too. That is cool. Now, can I leave links to your company? Do you guys give tours? Yeah. yeah okay. We do wine tours and, and uh, weddings, that sort of thing. Are you guys on Instagram or are you on a webpage? I am on Instagram. Cool. Uh, I think it's Vintage Tour Bus. Uh, on Instagram and it's vintagetourbus.com is the website. Nice. Make sure you guys check that out for sure and I'll leave links in the description too. Hey, thanks so much for sharing, man. This okay. was really cool. Thank what you. a pleasure. I'm excited to ride the new one today too. I'm kind of just documenting the whole day. Are you? So, oh. thank you so much. So awesome. Uh, Look at you all dressed up for the occasion. Yeah. It's going to be a great day. This exactly. Is, this uh, is FX Comic Con. I love we're, it. Uh, we're part of a Mardi Gras crew that they, they they uh there's some more of us over there in the green right on but we have a brass band we're just supposed to be festively um, very cool yeah and i've got more to put on well we'll see you later alligator take care guys yeah i wonder if he's gonna go all the way through or if he's pulling into the station i think he's gonna pull up behind these guys look at that so we got the tour bus and then we've got the big waterfall trolley too. Isn't that cool? Now I've seen the pink ones that cruise around downtown Portland, but I have to say I've never seen the old waterfall trolley. That is beautiful with all the wooden benches on the inside. Absolutely stunning. What does this date? 
Oh, it was built in 2000. Oh, it's a histo it's a replica, but it's beautiful. I mean, yeah. you would have never. Yeah, they did a nice job. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It, built, it looks like it's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I would have never. I would have thought it was totally restored. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. And this is their line here for the gray line, waterfall trolley, all the way up to the falls and what's nice nice now if you drive the trolley I don't believe you have to have worry about having a permit they just recently changed it where you have to have a permit now but if you're on any kind of trolley or thing where it has a lot of folks on it you don't have to worry about having a permit thanks for sharing so I'm guessing we might actually be able to ride the old-school trolley from what I'm guessing is we'll be able to ride this to the farmer's market and then I might actually walk back over. Who knows, they might circle back around. And then what we'll do is we'll check out the brand new bus. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be pretty darn cool. All right, look at all these folks having a good old time so far. We're all waiting to ride the trolley and then we're gonna check out the brand new bus too. It's good to see everybody decked out. I like your outfit, very cool. What do they call that, steampunk, right? Very cool. Oh, you got the glow, they glow, right? Yeah, well, they do. My night ones. They look like, yeah, I thought, yeah. that's this cool. The Jester's Brass Marching Band. We'll be kicking things up. What is it? The Jester's Brass Marching Band. Well, nice to meet you. I'm excited to see you guys. This will be good. Look at these guys. They're all decked out. The Mystic Crew. The Mystic Crew? Yes. Oh, I like it. Very mysterious. <laughs> well, they're looking great. How awesome. Folks are having a good old time. Are you Tony? No, that's my dad's nickname. Oh, Tanny. okay. Oh, oh, Tanny's. I'm Tanny. so sorry. Tanny. I read it wrong. What a bonehead. So this cat is so cool. I noticed you were the guys doing the, chur uh, how do you say it? Chur churros. Churros yeah, for folks. Sir. But you also have a, uh, a coffee, coffee shop. shop. Yep, on 242nd and Stark and Hogan. You guys better check them out. These uh, guys are way cool for out, being here. Hey, bro. What's hey. the name of it? Tanny's Coffee Shop. Oh, Tanny's Coffee Shop. There you there go. You I'll leave links too. Good, All right. Man. Peace out, bro. Cool. Please do. Do you got any uh, social media? Jestersmarchingband.com. Oh, that's right. That's that you're so you're part of the whole. Yes. Oh, very cool. And you got your music with you too. You guys are ready to rock and roll. Oh, yes, he's, we he's, are. He's the leader of the band. Oh, okay. Well, I'm got. I'm in the I'm right the, place. I'm the leader victim. Yes. But <laughs> he's gathering, and I like the umbrellas too. Good little touch. Definitely Portland. Very Portland. <laughs> That's fine. Some more folks joining the group here. Just kidding. Okay, everybody here? Getting a group photo. <laughs> here we go. This guy's gonna stand in the back. That's fun. You guys look amazing funny because when I come to these events usually I'm like the first one here that I'm just independent and there's usually like people here from like channel 8, 6, and 12 and it's kind of funny how they maneuver but I, I work on a different kind of thing. I work for myself so I can kind of just do what I want but I'm always very calm and courtesy to folks and it's funny when I'm talking with people some people will just kind of walk up and basically just interrupt you mid-conversation but that's okay. Um, I guess they have the rights to do that since they're, you know, channel 6, 8, or 12. And I'm just a low budget guy out here. Anyways, other than that, it's been good so far. <laughs> there he goes! It's been a minute, dude. I seen you down at the waterfront when you were there for the mermaid or the uh, pirate fest, I believe. Yeah. Remind me your remind me your clown name again though. Spencer Sprocket. Spencer Sprocket. Yeah, that's that's right, dude. His channel's awesome, dude. Oh rad, bro. Look at that. You guys are awesome for being here. <laughs> Yeah, these guys are cool, man. I met uh, I met Spencer. Oh, I just met the guy on the stilts too, but I actually met Spencer Sprocket. Is his channel? Um, in fact, I think he has an Instagram page as well. But yeah, good people here today.
Yeah, I like Spencer. He's been a cool cat, man. I really like him. All right, let's go creep in this way and see if we can get a little better sounds of the band. They got like a full orchestra going. Love it. Oh, wow, they're really rocking. Got the Max pulling into the station. Got to step up to the plate. I missed a couple, couple good ones. I was waiting for the good ones. Oh, they're all good ones. <laughs> Did I take the cuts in front of you though? I think she was next. Yeah, she was next. That was gorgeous. Oh my God, those smell so good. We got Spencer back here juggling. Oh man. Heck yeah. Thank you so much. Oh man. I forgot they're like filled too. Oh my god. I've got to check these guys out. That is too good. Wow. There it is, the very first run. How cool is that? Very first run. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nice, look at that. Wow, it's very quiet too. Very nice. These guys are loving it right now. Nice, you can board now on all three. That's cool. Wow, very cool. So I think we'll be able to board pretty soon. I guess we're just gonna kind of celebrate it being here. How cool is that? Oh. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna let this one fill up and then we'll probably catch the next one. Just cause uh, these folks are doing their thing and I, I ride it all the time but Pretty darn cool. Let's definitely jump on real quick and just take a tour. This is awesome. The lamps are nice and low now too. Wow. Very nice. That's big. all the way back holy cow this thing's enormous so I'm used to going to like right about here but then it just keeps going it keeps going that is awesome love it 
Travis, right? That's correct. That's the mayor right here of Gresham. Thanks for having us event for us. Oh, today. absolutely. What a great addition. It, this is. This is truly a great addition. You know, when you think about the, kind of the intersection of equity and opportunity and all those things, having the FX line connect downtown Portland with Gresham is tremendous. Absolutely yeah. tremendous. And all the businesses and mom and pa places up and down division is going to love this. Absolutely. And me too. I ride the bus all the time. Yeah. So. No. Nice to meet you, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. No, I tried to sneak on, but they said, VIP only. I said, what is that supposed to mean? No, I'm just playing. It's for the TriMet folks to enjoy first, which is only totally right. But uh, we got the next one pulling in here soon, so it is happening. We just got to be patient. But pretty darn cool, good turnout, I have to say. A lot of room on that bad boy, too. Big turnout. Van rocking. It's good. All right, here we go. This is street performance at its finest. He's way up there. I gotta zoom out. <laughs> That's awesome. Rocking back from the old TriMet here. The grand opening of the new FX bus, and this is street performance at its finest, folks. And I was telling him earlier that the little beanie gets going good when you're that high up there, there's a little velocity. And this guy's got his own YouTube channel as well, which is... It's MC Shoehorn Conley on YouTube. MC Shoehorn, I really like that name, by the way. That is cool. And he's also got his Instagram there. Very cool. Well, thank you very much for sharing. I'll make sure you check him out and I'll leave links. I'm also on TikTok. Oh. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Obamacare. <laughs> I liked how I liked how he said I'm on TikTok and the shoes actually ticked and talked. Exactly. <laughs> I thought Instagram. Are you on Insta? I thought Instagram oh. was a weed delivery service. I might be here in Portland. You already got the green on, so you're good. There he is. Look at that. I love it. That's awesome, man. Sure, why not? You don't have to twist my arm on that. I actually saw these this I saw these this morning when they were just kind of here. So this will be cool. Thank you for asking by the way. That was nice of you. Wow, these are turning out great, you guys. Incredible. Here's the nice gentleman we talked to this morning. Looking good. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, not too shabby. Looking good, good you guys. I'm glad I came back to document. Yeah. I, all right. You're, okay. You can be a piece of this. Okay, hero, cool. Right there. Oh, over the 63? Yeah. You want me to photograph you painting? That's okay. I can just... I'll do like a Bob Ross... Okay. We'll do like a little Bob yeah, Ross. Do we'll do a happy little tree, happy little cloud. Yeah. Look at this. I'm going to be part of it, you guys. This is awesome. I want to stay in the lines. And we'll do some strokes here. Oh, yeah. I am having a blast today. This has been really cool. There's been a lot of street performers and... A yeah, lot of well, folks. Did you see the whole girls? You know, I hadn't. Were they, are they I, over I on stage? What their performance would be like. Are they over on stage right I saw now? Somebody with a whole mess of hula hoops. Okay. But I've been known to do a little hula hooping, or not hula hooping, but you know what they I'm were saying. Getting ready to. Hula hoop <laughs> I guess you could. <laughs> it's all in the hips, right? 
Well, yeah. This is I, all I in the all in the strokes. The, I didn't have the move. Okay, let's clean it up and just do one stroke across here like this, guys. That's right. By no means am I a professional, keep your but down. but no more. We had, we had some kids. They were pretty wild. Fans. I hid my name in here too. You just can't see it. No. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Here we go. So it's forty third. Forty third will be where it'll be hung. And and so these That's these cool. panels will all combine to make this. Mural. Now are these here? These are here, or just an artist affliction of what it'll kind of look like when it's done. Oh, I guess they'll probably add more panels. This is it. Oh, this is it. Okay. See, the building the building structure is there's a lip here. These right. are these are structural or, oh. or molded into the concrete. I get it. So there's sort of frames, uh, framed That's cool. areas. So this. All right, we got the splash pad rocking. We got some folks over here getting ready to enjoy some good music too. Just an all around great day. A lot of live action events and festivals. Splash pad looks good. Don't mind if we do. It's been a great, great day. It looks like they're gonna be starting some music pretty soon. All right, so we got a ton of different places down here, but if you guys are here, make sure you stop by the Irie Shave and Crave. They've got such good, uh, you know, classic shaved ice. It's not like a regular, you know, what do they call them? I don't know what you would call it. Oh, like the little ice cone things, but it's different. It's like a shaved ice. If you guys have never had one, you definitely got to check it out. And they got a ton of different flavors. So I might rock a coconut one here. It's getting a little hot. But yeah, they're a little bit different than just like a regular snow cone. That was the word I'm looking for, snow cone. It's not a snow cone, it's different. <laughs> oh yeah. Are you leaving soon? Uh, I'm just waiting for other people to jump on. So okay, well hey, bit. let's get on, why not? Okay. Thanks, bud. All right, you guys. This is awesome. So we're gonna get a little cruise. This is neat. We're gonna wait for a couple more folks and we're gonna cruise on down to the farmer's market. A little Saturday market that they put on too, but this is neat. I've been waiting to ride in this all day. Got the Creeper Cruiser over here. Oh yeah. Okay, now you all get the spiel. <laughs> so what you're riding on is an old 1945 Chevy school bus. Um, this was used in Gooding, Idaho from 1945 until the late 50s. Then the school district sold it and a guy bought it and turned it into a really funky family camper. Uh, and then after being a camper, he turned it into a workshop. And after a workshop, it became dead storage and sat outside his house until I bought it in 2010. So um, I saw it on Craigslist. I've been kicking around the idea of doing tours on a vintage bus, always thought that would be sort of fun. Um, and uh, of course, that was before what I knew I was getting into. Uh, but anyways, I went over to Idaho, I looked at it, the guy who showed me the bus, turned out that he did not own it, but he was selling it for a friend of his, but it turned out that he was an amazing mechanic. And I have to tell you, I credit Bill Ruby of Dreamroy Builders with uh, his abilities and his talents because I could not have done this if it had not been for him. So anyways, we spent five and a half years restoring the bus. Uh, I was working on the TV show Grimm at the time. I was a set decorator. I wasn't decorating that show. I was working as a buyer. Um, but uh, every time we went on a seasonal hiatus, I'd go over to Idaho for two and a half months and get dirty, and I had a blast doing it. Uh, and then eventually I brought the bus back to Portland after the show ended and kicked off a wine tour, wedding, and just general shuttle uh, service. So, um, and that's what I use it for. So I do a lot of wine tours down in the Mammoth Valley. I go up to the river. Uh, and I do a lot of weddings, so it's, uh, it's a fun vehicle to use for those events. So, uh, anyways, we are coming up, and here we are. Um, I gotta jump out here and talk to this guy and see what's going on. Okay. Thank you so much for You're doing welcome. this. Very cool. Really appreciate your time. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. 
A lot of folks are loving this right now. Wow, what a great turnout. I didn't realize how many people were going to actually jump off of the bus itself. Heck yeah. Let's go take one more look at the front of this bad boy. Couple pulling in now. VIP coach. That's going to do it for today. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below. That'll dial you into being a creeper today. You can also ring that bell. That way, when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. And if you did enjoy this, give it a thumbs up. Until next time, creeper out for now. Peace.